I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be point blank honest. Us little Overwatch creators are like literally tiny. Like we in the grand scheme of things, I learned that from that streamer awards event. We are no like we, nobody knows us. We don't exist. But even worse though is we're all basically in this one trick land where we all just have to play ranked, and that's what in Overwatch one we were taught to only play ranked because that's all the community cared about. In games like Apex, like people play pubs. Like Asu basically makes a whole. His whole brand is going into pubs and just absolutely destroying. And it's hilarious. And it's awesome content. We only have ranked. That's it. And even our competitive scene, like Overwatch League. and First off, Overwatch League and, and ranked and content are completely separate. We're, we're not going to be able to reestablish that with it being on YouTube. We're fucked. We're in different lands at this point. So there is no end game for the ranked content. There is no end game. We're all just in this endless, like, running around circle. And if ranked sucks, it gets a million times worse. And there's no other options. So... Faria is nailing it. Like, we can't... There's no lore to talk about. There's no fun things, like, outside of just being good at video game to talk about. Like, it's 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 kind of insane. I mean, the culture can always change, right? Like, it takes time, but it's like... being in people Getting people introduced to that is definitely hard because people like to be com like comfy, right? Like, if your audience is so used to ranked, right? They're going to come in and have it to me all the time. It's like... Is Flats taking a, a break from ranked? Why is he not playing ranked? Why, excuse me, streamer, streamer, why are you not playing ranked? Why, ranked, hello, strike, streamer, streamer, streamer. And it's like that, it can be obviously frustrating. It can be like, you know, like, oh, uh, your people are not going to be happy with this type of content. But at the same time, though, it is better content. Like, you, you're everything can be solved pretty much by making better content. And if you actually know how to make better content, and like, you can kind of feel it, right? Like, Sometimes there's, it, it happens with everybody. It's like you have a passion project. There's something you work on. It doesn't do that hot. It's like, wow, it didn't do that great. Why did it not do that great? Was the content not good or is it not match your audience, right? Like there can be times where you make something that's really, really good content, but maybe it just doesn't hit with them. You know, like if you, if you make something about like mystery heroes, right? And you're, I'd say Sam, cause Sam is, I would say really much like a, like a rank grinder. Most of the people who watch Sam, I would Im imagine mostly want to watch people be really 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 fucking good at the game and and kill things and maybe learn from him because he does a lot of unranked gm stuff like that if you just hop into mystery heroes and just start having a good time they'd be like well, 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 where's my ranked you know what i mean but it's like sam could be you could be the best mystery heroes player of all time because you're good at everything it could be fun like for example what emong is doing and i did it too was uh could we get every single ultimate with every single character in one setting right and it was all rng right like because like it was funny for him because it, we went three sessions without him getting a tracer once. Um, but people loved that. They were like, you know, like, holy shit, he can't get tracer. It's so funny. And it like built up to that moment that when he finally got tracer, like everyone, oh, he has it. Wait a minute. It's possible. And then there was one time he got it like a 90% alt chart, like 90% uh, capture point percentage. Like, you know, after the game was about to be over and it was like, no way you can't get it now. You know? And those are cool moments. Those are fun moments for people. Um, Tells a story, yeah. Yeah, it's a good story. And honestly, storytelling is a big part of content. If you're just playing ranked all day long, it's not really going to do that hot. And also, oh, I'm going to hit the bingo card early. The reason why I personally want a lot of like stuff like stacking and whatnot is uh, the culture of Overwatch changed, I would say, around the time XQC became a big streamer in Overwatch. Um, he was a solo queue streamer. And then duo queue with like Moxie and stuff. And I actually truly believe that that had a big effect on the culture of Overwatch because Overwatch was a stacking game until around that point in 2018. 2016, 2017, Overwatch was a stacking game. And then around then, like people saw the biggest streamer was always solo queue, always solo queue or duo queue. You know, doesn't want to look boosted, doesn't want to like, you know, like, oh, I like to solo only. And a lot of people mimic that. And actually, even a lot of the pro players that came up, I don't know if you guys saw Dante's tweet like a couple months ago, but. He was like, he hates the, like, he was like, I, the new generation of pros frustrates him because they just sit out of voice the entire time and, like, never join voice and they don't really try hard. That's true. I can't tell you how many games I play at this point that are silent. No one says a word. And that is not what old Overwatch used to be. So, to me, I want stacking back because I get to control my experience and I get to create those stories and those narratives. And that's what makes good content, not me stomping the ladder. I don't want a five stack with Emong and Seagull and Jay and Q or Sam to stomp the ladder. We're going to get fucking rolled 99% of the time, I promise you. But those one or two games we get where we might win or it's a close win and we all have a good time, that 
is the f- stories. That's what's enjoyable. That's what's a fun content to make, but also playing ranked at the same time. So I know I'm rambling a little bit here, uh, but I feel like we've lost a lot of that type of stuff in Overwatch. And there's just there's just no stories to go to.